Yeah, you know, quite a few. Quite a few. I find one of the uh, one of the real tricks for finding innovation, finding creativity, is to ask, to ask questions, constantly ask questions, and by asking question after question after question, you'll often get to a a truer center that will then allow you to rebuild off of that and come up with something that's maybe quite different than where you started. We're at a, a point right now where data will either go to clever or creepy. And that will dictate a lot of what happens with the management of data, the regulations of data. And we're right at the core of that in the business that we're in. Um, so, you know, we're defining the future. And if we're careful, we'll be able to define it in a way that will mean that this period we're in right now will have unlocked all sorts of incredible opportunities because of the, the deep knowledge we'll have of, of consumers. Um, but if we're not wise in how we do it, we could actually be the architects of our own problems as well. Decision making is, in my mind, um, a team sport. Uh, you know, not always at the end of the day. At the end of the day, somebody has to make a call on something. But if you're not wise and get inputs from not just the obvious sources, but um, a variety of sources, I find that, that if you only go to the usual suspects, if you've got a marketing problem and you go to your head of marketing, then you're going to get a marketing answer, and that's usually good. There's nothing wrong with getting the marketing answer. But if you also happen to spend time you know, talking to the brand new coordinator on the floor, or you know, depending on the problem, the guy that's serving you a sandwich at lunch, um, it can really open your eyes to some different inputs, and I, there's value to that. You know, we all learned in school the scientific method, and the scientific method doesn't mean that it always works. The scientific method means you do it in a way that is repeatable and that it will deliver the same negative results if, in fact, you do that. Um, and you learn from that because that tells you what it can't be. Um, so am I willing to fail? Yes. Um, there are measured bets that you have to make. Um, you know, if you're going to fail, fail fast, fail cheap. Um, don't bet the farm and then fail. Um, if, you're, if it's a bet the farm situation, then you better scale up to it before you're ready to make that call.